Thanks. Well, uh, I'd like to uh, just uh, quickly talk about uh, what uh, I call the uh, bookshop uh, project and the web out output. Uh, the situation is essentially that we, we have quite a lot of good documents, uh, which is uh, our guides. And uh, our guides are produced by to audit of, as ODT or PDF. And when you want to use the information, you have to go uh, and download the PDF or go to the uh, uh, um, uh, ODT file and, and then extract the information. <coughs> but you cannot, for example, uh, directly use a link. So the idea is to export uh, the shutters and the guides uh, in a form that will allow us to uh, upload into a web website and use on a uh, browser to uh, fix the, the to have the, the display. So what's the, the, the challenge? The challenge that is that we have a set, a set of contents which uh, is in format of a book or a, or, or a document with pages and we need to shuffle all these sections into something that is better displayed in a in a browser. So for example, the table of contents goes here, the copyright and the contents goes here. We can add a search mechanism to locate, to localize or locate uh, strings. Uh, we can get give some uh, logo and we have the book uh, table of contents. Uh, to, to change that into that format requires scripts to, man to manage contents here and then JavaScript to manage uh, the web output, okay? And uh, we, we try to use the export for HTML, but when you export HTML, you have this same layout with a very long uh, web page. So there is a lot of work to do, and this is what uh, uh, we were doing for several um, uh, languages. So, we created this uh, small website which, in which each of these books is uh, static HTML and we have several uh, languages. And uh, when we click on a book and start to read, we have this layout. The table of contents is on the right, on the left. The book uh, table of contents is on the right. And then we have the contents here displayed and you can scroll. And you can have a search mechanism here to locate in the book uh, a specific uh, content, or you can use the browser um, search function to locate inside the web page. And then we have also uh, other things, nice things like the, the logo and a, a button for support LibreOffice. So uh, what, uh, what the conclusion of this uh, small talk is that uh, we sometimes think about that we need a web output, which is uh, nothing, it's beyond pure export to HTML, or, uh, to XHTML. So the question is, can I have a page grid so that I can uh, manage the, the layout of my page like we do in HTML with the CSS grid? Okay, so uh, we can have uh, the we can have uh, elements of the, the, the document to, be, to get a, a, a new attribute, which is the page grid, page grid ID, so that I can position sections, headings, and objects in the grid I want in my web page, and uh, get some other uh, information, such as working on inheritance, uh, working for frames, image, and objects, and uh, uh, evaluate if the grid is in the page style or is in the document, which I have not yet thought about. So basically, that's this uh, small, small uh, lightning talk. Thank you very much for that. And uh, let's see. <laughs> Thank you. like uh, single page and multi-page HTML and also LaTeX and other things. 
uh, from the, the semantic representation as a dot book. So maybe if we had exporting to dot book, that would, that would solve or, or would be an approach to addressing this. Yeah, we uh, so far didn't look at this specific. What I can tell you is that uh, I was using uh, a extension uh, developed by in Java. In, it is available in the extension website. It's a writer to um, LaTeX or writer to HTML, and it produces a simpler uh, HTML with some form of uh, uh, some uh, intermediate screens that can you can um, define what you want at your output. When you, you export to H XHTML directly from the LibreOffice, um, you don't have this control. Everything goes in a, in directly. So.